All right, KJ, thanks uh, for joining. Just so everybody knows, uh, while Deuce Drone is still live on our platform, they've currently sold out their round. Uh, if anyone's interested in learning more about uh, Deuce Drone, be, please feel free to include your emails in either the sending us a chat below, emailing me directly, rob.brunet at netcapital.com, or posting on uh, Deuce Drone's discussion board uh, to keep up with the company, even if currently uh, their round is sold out. Uh, but with that said, uh, KJ, thanks for joining us. So hi, everyone. My name is KJ Hardrick. I'm a graduating senior studying aerospace engineering at MIT, and I'll be continuing to Stanford University for grad school in the fall, where I'll be pursuing PhD focused on autonomous systems. I'm here to represent Deuce Drone, a company that will transform the delivery system as we know it. The problem is that Amazon is becoming more difficult to compete with the faster they get delivering packages. Last mile delivery is costly and relies on people. And in general, last mile delivery is inefficient because of the many stops needed just to drop small packages off. And for most businesses, it's simply too expensive to implement last mile delivery to these consumers. And that's why they have to turn to other services to facilitate these deliveries. We allow everybody to have this last mile delivery service and we will be able to provide for thousands of businesses that wouldn't have the resources to create a whole drone pro program from scratch, even if they wanted to. We will truly be able to empower these smaller businesses and allow them to offer delivery times in minutes instead of days. We'll be able to leverage whatever infrastructure a business may have and make a custom drone system that works for them. Drone delivery is as the crow flies. So these are straight line trajectories that don't need to use roads or stop at stoplights. As a result, we can deliver these packages more efficiently. And the more retailers we get on board, the more drone hubs we'll be able to put in place, which will ultimately allow us to further expand where the drones will be able to deliver. And situa situations like the one we're currently in right now just show that we needed a delivery service like this already so that we don't have to endanger customers or delivery personnel in times of need. There's a huge market opportunity because of all the items that our drones would be able to deliver. From food and grocery delivery to beauty and apparel delivery, there are countless number of retailers out there that will be able to benefit from a drone delivery service. So we're looking at a business that should be in the billions. We're a service that a company will be able to sign up for. Our goal is to make it as easy for retailers to sign up as possible, We'll consult with them and design custom systems to work for their needs. And we'll be able to do the planning and work required to turn their current warehouse or store area into a drone hub equipped for drone delivery. We'll be in charge of both the front and back end in terms of software. And we'll work with retailers to seamlessly integrate the ordering process into their current systems. We'll be the ones operating the systems from control centers that we will put in place. Currently, there are people in the drone space as others see this as the future as well, but we're confident that we will be able to put a unique solution out. And since we want to put out a service that any customer would want to sign up for, we have really put together an incredible team. where we cover all the bases from logistics, aerospace and construction to technology and engineering. General Blaine Holt is our expert in logistics while Rhett Ross's CEO experience in the aerospace sector has been invaluable as we navigate new terrain with the FAA. Philip Burton is the president and CEO of one of the largest real estate development firms in South Alabama. And as he built up his portfolio, he's created invaluable connections to a variety of retailers. Then we get to John Fanning, the founding chairman and CEO of Napster, who has been a pioneer in the internet tech space for over 30 years and has created many connections along the way. Then for the drone itself, we get to myself and Timmy, who will be both pursuing PhDs in autonomous systems in the fall in Stanford University's aerospace engineering department. So we think we really have all of these bases covered. To sum up everything, Deuce Drone is the last mile solution. As we continue to grow and get more retailers on board, we'll be able to create an expanded network of drone hubs that will be conveniently spaced throughout various regions. We'll empower any retailer to offer delivery within minutes instead of days, and we'll be able to do so with our incredible cast of individuals who cover all of the bases that I just mentioned. So there's my pitch, 
and thanks for listening and I'll be open to questions. Thanks, KJ. Now we have a couple of questions right off the bat. Um, so are employees of courier services being trained to use these drones through your, your system? So we will be the ones operating the drones. They will, we will implement them in a way for specifically for each retailer and we will adapt their warehouse. And in that whole process, we'll be consulting with them to try to ease that transition. We'll just try to tell them um, the things that different people would need to do to implement a service like this. We're trying to be um, more like an Uber Eats where the drone is just now delivering and they just do whatever they usually do, but we're just going to be handing that package to the drone. The drone will facilitate the delivery. Great. Um, what are the current legal regulation obstacles that your uh, current, so guys, two questions, sorry. Uh, what are the current legal regulation obstacles uh, and are you also a hardware company? So for the first question, there are hurdles that were already, have already started the process of overcoming and we're pretty confident that we will be able to overcome it by the end of this summer. Um, those regulations just include being able to um, fly more than one drone because we'll need a fleet at some point and being able to fly these drones for revenue. And those things are being worked with right now um, in Washington, D.C. because of everything that's going on and we expect the road to be paved for drone delivery pretty soon. And what was the second question? The second question is, are you also a hardware company? So we will be getting into certain hardware components um, because we will have to create a latch and release me mechanism for the actual drone box itself. And we are also working into um, other smart systems that we'll be able to implement within retail spaces to just create this whole, um, we will imagine a autonomous system where we would be able to just load these drones automatically. Great, a uh, bunch more coming in. I'll just fire them off. Uh, what is the usual time frame for pickup and delivery of products or food? What is the time frame? Yeah, what would be the time frame for a pickup and delivery? So we envision a system that will be able to, so an order comes in as usual. And if this is a food order, then it would be completed. And they would, we would tell them what drone to put it in, they would put it in. And as this, um, since it's a straight line trajectory, we're envisioning delivery times of three and four minutes for like a two mile delivery, could be five, six minutes if it's a little further than that. But since we don't have to go through streets and roads and our drone will be able to fly 40 miles an hour, then these times will be really short. Okay, uh, instead of beating Amazon, is there a way for them to use your solution? These are definitely things we're thinking about in the future, but I don't think we're worried about that component right now. Um, we want to empower other businesses at the moment to be able to compete themselves. Okay, uh, two questions about how the drones fly. Uh, one is, are the drones autonomous or are they piloted? And then uh, how do you deal with the FAA and other regulatory agencies regarding use of airspace? Um, and do the drones carry transponders? Uh, there's a couple I can go through them again if you need. Okay, so these drones will be autonomous. We will be running them from various control centers where we'll be able to monitor all the different drones and they'll be able to notify us if anything is going wrong. But the system will be um, pretty robust. We will have fail safes and contingency plans in case things go wrong. In terms of the FAA regulations, um, that's why it's very valuable for us to have Rhett Ross as our CEO. He has been the CEO of an aerospace corporation before and so he knows how to navigate these various FAA issues and in general these FAA issues are for everyone and it's just because that this is a new space that the DC hasn't really taken a full look at but now because of the coronavirus they are taking a full look at it and we think we'll be able to put things in place sooner rather than later. And where are the drones made? So we are actually 
still trying to finalize which types of drones that we will actually use. We will probably be able to use multiple because right now we are working on the software and integrating the two. So we will be able to interchange drones as the drone tech in, um, improves and as different vendors give their best drone to us, then we'll be able to implement whichever drone that we want to once we have the infrastructure in place. Great, and that uh, brings us to the end of our time. Thanks, KJ, uh, for presenting.